Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever struggled to understand the meaning of a phrasal verb? I bet you have. They can be quite tricky to grasp sometimes. But fear not, because today I am going to teach you a couple of advanced phrasal verbs. And I'll explain how you can sometimes infer the meaning of a phrasal verb from the verb and the particle. Even though sometimes they seem to be completely illogical. Let's start with two phrasal verbs that have the same basic meaning. Fork out and splash out. But which one do you think is negative and which one do you think is positive? Let me tell you a little story. A friend of mine recently told me that he had to fork out for his car repairs. I asked him how much it cost and he said an arm and a leg. That's right. Fork out contains the word fork, which is usually used as a noun and implies resistance or effort. Therefore, fork out is the phrasal verb with a negative meaning. And it means to spend a lot of money on something unwillingly or reluctantly. For example, every year, parents have to fork out for school uniforms and books, which they may not want to spend money on. Now let's talk about splash. This phrasal verb has a more positive connotation, implying spending money more frivolously and without resistance. In fact, you're splashing out on something. You're spending a lot of money on it as if you were splashing water around. So if you are splashing out on a new car, you are spending a lot of money on it freely and joyfully, and like you're happy to do it. For example, you might splash out on a fancy dinner with your wife or your boyfriend. Ones or splurge on a luxurious vacation to an exotic destination. So now you know the difference between fork out and splash out. But how can you work out the meaning of other phrasal verbs? Well, sometimes you can guess the meaning on a phrase by looking at the verb and the particle. For instance, breakdown means to stop working suddenly or to lose control of your emotions, which makes sense when you consider that break means to separate into pieces or to stop working. And down implies a downward motion. Another example is run into, which means to meet someone unexpectedly. This phrasal verb makes sense when you consider that run implies motion and into suggests collision or contact. Therefore, if you run into your old friend from high school on the street, you are meeting them unexpectedly. In conclusion, phrasal verbs may seem illogical and confusing at times, but by considering the verb and the particle, well as the context in which they are used. You can generally work out their meanings. And who knows, you might even impress your friends with your new knowledge. So, go ahead, use those phrasal verbs with confidence, and don't forget to splash out every once in a while. Thank you. Hit that like button down below, and subscribe for more videos. Jason David Brooks out.